Hello, football and NFL fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back. And this week, I'm going to do my picks as I do every week. And this is going to be week 16. Now, you're probably wondering how I did in week 15. Well, I did really good. I was actually 11 and 5 in week 15. Real good week. And I got the first, it was, I got off to a great start because I got the first four games of the week right. I got Thursday night football right. Then I got all three games, including that wild game between the Vikings and the Colts. I got all of those games right. So I went into the Sunday games with a 4-0 record already. So that helped bring me home to 11-5. and And on the year, what that does for me is it makes me 137-87, and 61% correct on the year, which is awesome. So I definitely want to keep it rolling here. And we got Christmas week this week. Christmas. Hope you get everything you want. I mean, I can get anything I want throughout the year anyway, so we'll see about that. But anyway, yes, Christmas week. And because of that, the NFL is going to do a little bit of a role reversal, and Saturday is going to be the big day. There will be games on Christmas, but on Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve is going to be the big day. That's going to have like 11 games or something. And then there's going to be, I think, three three games on Christmas Day. And then, of course, Monday Night Football will be the day after Christmas. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a wild week, and I did really well. And so let's see if we can keep that rolling along as we go over my Christmas week picks. And along with that, the first game you've got is the Thursday night game on uh, Thursday, December 22nd. And that's going to be the Jaguars at the Jets. Now, this one is, I expect this one to be a slam bang scuffle. This is going to be a close one. But I'm going to give the slight edge here to the Jets. I'm going to go with the Jets on this one only because. The Jets have a really good defense, and uh, I, that's where they differ themselves from the Jaguars. I mean, Lawrence has been playing great. That Jaguars offense has been playing real well, but they're going up against um, a buzzsaw in that Jets defense. And, um, you know, and, and Zach Wilson will be the quarterback again, but he got, you know, last week, he wasn't terrible. I didn't think he was that bad. But he got at least that, you know, experience, that recent experience to, that he can carry into the Jaguar game. So I'm going to go with the Jets there. That brings us to the Saturday um, Christmas Eve games. The first one is the Falcons at the Ravens. And in this one, I'm going to go with the Ravens, even though the Ravens have not been playing well. I don't know if um, Jackson will be back for them. But. The Falcons are terrible. They find a way to lose to everybody and every week. So I'm just going to go with the Ravens. Plus, they're at home. It helps. The next one you got is the Lions at the Panthers. And in this one, yeah, I mean, who's going to pick against the Lions right now? Uh, Dan Campbell has those guys playing great football. Goff is, he is been great i don't the rams maybe they gave up on him a little too soon next one you got is the seahawks at the chiefs i'm going to stay with my usual theme here and we're going to go with the chiefs i think the chiefs are going to uh beat the seahawks i don't see them now that's is you know i mean i one thing i have noticed really is that the chiefs and dallas they have like wet spaghetti defenses, but I still think the Chiefs are going to overcome the Seahawks with their offense. Next one you got is the Saints at the Browns. The Browns have been playing kind of well lately, but I'm going to go with the Saints because the Saints have a really good defense. And uh, Deshaun Watson really hasn't looked that good yet since he's been back. Not yet. 
not like the Deshaun Watson that we saw before. Next one you got is the Texans at the Titans. I'm going to go with the Titans here. I mean, the Titans really better win, or, you know, Vrabel might find himself working for UPS next week. Because, you, I mean, sooner or later, he's got to, He's got to throw down the gauntlet and win. You know, they got rid of that GM that he kind of sort of blamed for the fact that they're not as good as they could be. Well, now you got to win because that guy is gone. Next one you've got is the um, Bengals are at the Patriots. I don't think this one takes um, a genius to figure out. We're going to go with the Bengals here, especially if the Patriots decide to lateral the ball back to a Bengal like they did last week against Las Vegas. Did you see that? That was crazy. I mean, the game was tied. Why are you pulling out the, the California band play when you're tied? If you were losing, if they were losing there, I could see them doing that. But, man. Next one you got is the Giants at the Vikings. And in this one, man, you got to believe I'm going with the Vikings. I mean, if you can come back from 33 points down to the Colts, well, let's hope they don't do that to the Giants, get 33 points down to the Giants. It might be a little different then. But I'm still going to go with the Vikings to beat the Giants. I think the Giants just got off to a good start. They won some games that they weren't supposed to win, and they look better than they really are. They're really the Giants from last year, and that's not good. Next one we have is the Bills going to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, right. No, we're going to go with the Bills there. I mean, come on. I don't care if the Bills are playing you in Chicago, if they're playing you in Buffalo, if they're playing you in Dallas. I don't care where they're playing that game against the Bears. They're going to beat the Bears. Next one we have is the Commanders at the 49ers. I'm going to go with the 49ers here. The Commanders, I think, have uh, they're, they've been playing some good ball, although they lost last week to the Giants. They've been playing some good football, but it's kind of a little bit of a mirage, too, because um, Heineke, their quarterback, he's been leading them to a lot of wins, but he leaves a lot of points on the board. And if you do that against San Francisco, you're going to pay for it. Next one we have is the Eagles at the Cowboys. Now, who's going to play in this game? Is Jalen Hurts going to play? Is he not going to play? I'll tell you what. I don't care whether he plays or he doesn't play. The Eagles are going to beat the Cowboys because the Cowboys lost. First of all, the Cowboys lost to the Jags last week. If you lose to the Jags, and really their offensive game plan is terrible. They just all they do is sling the ball around with Dak. That's all they do. Dak Prescott throw, throw, throw. That's all they do. And I mean that's a predictable game plan. And Philadelphia still has the great defense, whether Jalen Hurts plays or not. Plus. Uh, Gardner Minshew would be the guy who would play if he doesn't. And Minshew is very capable. He's a good quarterback. So, yeah, I'm still going to go with the Eagles. But according to Jalen Hurts, he's going to play. We'll see. May not happen. But that's what he says. Next one you got is the Raiders at the Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers here. I mean, I know the Raiders won last week, but that's because Belichick felt sorry for his protege, and uh, he told his guys to lateral the ball to a Las Vegas player so they could have an easy touchdown. All right. That probably really didn't happen, but it's a good story, isn't it? Next one you have is the Pack going up against the Dolphins. Now, the Packers, pretty much they have to win out to have a chance at the playoff, to even have a prayer. They need some stuff to go right, but they also have to win out. And the bad news for them is that they're not because the Dolphins are going to beat the Packers next week in Green Bay, right? That is in – no, that's in that's in Miami. So even on top of that, it's in Miami. So, yeah. Next one you have – now, that, that was the first game on Christmas Day. 
The second game on Christmas Day is going to be the Broncos at the Rams, and I'm going to go with the Broncos. The Rams are terrible, and, you know, I've said it. I've been saying it for years on this channel. I don't like Baker Mayfield. I think he's a young punk that is, I don't want to say no talent, but he's his talent is not nearly as great as he thinks it is. Um, so, yeah, I think the Rams are going down. The last game on Christmas Day, you got the Bucks at the Cardinals. I am going to go with the Cardinals here because the Buccaneers, much like Atlanta, they find a way to, to lose. I mean, last week, last week they were winning big. They were up like 17-3 or something at the half and they ended up losing. And that brings us to the day after Christmas, Boxing Day in Canada for you people. The 26th. And that's going to be the Chargers at the Colts. And remember, one of these teams blew a 33-point lead. So um, I'm going to go with the other team, and that would be the Chargers. So we're going to take the Chargers to beat the Colts. <laughs> yeah, Get the Colts out of here. So those are my picks. What do you think? You like them? Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know who you would pick. Um, I want to tell everybody Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, have a great time. I'm going to be off all next week, so I'm going to enjoy myself. And uh, we may even have a surprise for you next week uh, as one of my videos. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what that is, but uh, I hope you like the pics and uh, let me know what you think of them. But right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke signing off.